Birdcraft intro, take one. Hi, I'm Bree with WQED Education, and I'm here with my lovely assistant and my beautiful daughter, Lila. And today we're going to be walking you through how to build a bird feeder out of recycled materials that you probably already have around the house. Friends, before we get started on our craft, do you know what a person who watches birds is called? Do you know? Do you need to ask a grown-up? We'll wait a second. Are you back? Okay, so a person who is a professional bird watcher or a studier of birds is called an ornithologist. An ornithologist. And that's how you spell it at the <laughs> bottom of the screen. It's a pretty big word, right? Yes. So, Lila and I today are ornithologists and we're going to be talking about ornithology. So the first part of our craft, we're going to show you our items. Lila, we have a recycled empty roll toilet paper, which I'm sure that you'll be able to find around your house. And we pre-cut holes in it and strung it with some twine so we can hang it. And we also have an old water bottle. So instead of throwing this away, we thought that we could utilize it in our bird feeder craft. And we also pre-strung the bottle with some twine. Parents, I actually poked holes in both the water bottle and the toilet paper roll with this fondue stick because that's what was in my kitchen. Mm -hmm. And we also have some very thin little dial rods, which we also call kebab sticks here. Of course, we have our bird seat, which is right here. That's the fun part. And we have two cups of regular creamy peanut butter. To have Lila use the toilet paper roll and start putting some peanut butter on it. All right. So Lila's going to get started spreading the peanut butter on the empty toilet paper roll and I am going to take this dial rod and put it through these pre-cut holes in the water bottle that I cut with scissors before we started. So that's a part of this activity that a grown-up has to do. And I'm just going to thread this through like that before I put the peanut butter on so that when I put the peanut butter on it, and I put it in the bird seat, it's already through and I won't lose where the hole is. So take my butter knife and I'm going to do exactly what Lila is doing and put peanut butter onto the plastic box. Okay, so now that we've spread both the empty water bottle and the empty toilet paper roll with peanut butter, we're going to put it in the bird seed and you're just gonna put it on the bird seed pan. Let me hold this up so you can see and just keep turning and flipping it over and maybe just do one of these to make sure you get it all on there. And of course, this is the best part. Lila, you wanna get in there and do it? Yes, please. Looks like I need some on this side. <laughs> and this might be a little messy, so make sure you have something to wash your hands with after. Well, that's a really good point. Mm -hmm. So why do you think, friends, that it's important that we're using objects that we found around the house? Why do you think it's important to make the bird feeders out of something that we would just normally throw away? Lila, why do you think that's important? I think it's important because we're recycling and by recycling, we're helping the environment also helping the birds by feeding them yeah so that's correct here's another fun little tip before we hang up our bird feeders on a stick that i brought in from the yard <laughs> if you have a lot of bird seed left over like we do i'm going to show you what that looks like we still have a whole cookie sheet full of bird seed what you can do is you can keep finding items and putting peanut butter and bird seed on them and stringing them up. But what you can do, grown-ups, is you can slide your little perch out like this and you can take a piece of, you can take a piece of parchment paper 
and you can actually wrap the entire craft in parchment paper and put it in a plastic bag and you can freeze it. So you can put it right in there, seal it up and freeze your craft so that you have bird seed, bird feeders all year long for your feathery friends outside. We're going to take this back out of the paper and even though it wasn't frozen, you can see all the bird seed is still on there. And here's a stick that we got from the outside and it's actually a really long stick and Lila's gonna hold it up right there and Della, my other lovely assistant who's helping direct this program, is going to <laughs> is going to hold the stick on that side. And what you can do, friends, is you can tie your twine like this on a stick. And we found this stick on the ground outside of our house. So we didn't take it off a tree. We actually found it on the ground. And we're going to tie our bird feeders up just like that. And I'm going to pass this off to Della and we're going to go put it outside. But before we go, thanks Della. <laughs> before we go, we wanted to let you know that all three of us, Lila, Della and I, created a Birds in My Backyard PDF document that you can either use on your phone or your computer, or you can print it out. Looks like that. And it has some pretty common birds that we think you'll see at your bird feeder. My favorite bird is the bluebird, and that's on the bottom, but not to be confused with the blue jay, who's also another beautiful bluebird up top. And we'll link this into the video so you can make sure to have your worksheet along with your video activity. And also there are links below for additional resources that we have available for learning, crafts, programming, and schedules all throughout the week. So stay home with WQED and WQED Education where we bring the classroom to you. And make sure to follow along with WQED Education on our website, which is www.wqed.org backslash education. And please make sure to follow along with us on social media, on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. All the links are right here so you can see them. Lila, you were a fantastic helper. Thank you so much. Della, off stage, thank you so much. You were also a fantastic helper. <laughs> we look forward to our next video. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Can I, hold up, can I say something? And this might be a little messy, so make sure you have something to wipe You have peanut butter on your mouth. <laughs> Bird house, okay, start over. Can, can I show? Any <laughs> bottle, and I tied the twine before I put, um, you have to put it on the outside. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh my god!